So as many of y'all know, Red Dead Online released on May 2019 for PS4 and Xbox and November 2019 for PC. So let's see how it holds on in 2023. Yo, why do I look like Christian Bale? So they sent me to jail for smoking that Zaza, and I got freed by these guys, did some Joss for them, and on my way to the post office, I encountered these lazy bums, you know, they were slacking off, so I had to give them peace of my mind. Yeah, get out of here. After I was done beating them up, you know, I had to go check my mail in the post office. He told me I was a scourge, man, I, I guess he found out I had lumbago. Uh, so I came across this little ranch, and I mean, it looks like a pretty good ranch to raise your family and uh, surely no one will die here in the future. So I had to go sneak up on these guys because they stole his mail or something. I snuck up behind him real close, you know, just like a Catholic priest with two little boys. And I uh, took him out, you know, some guy came up behind me, tried to get the one up on me. I had to throw him down and assert my dominance because, uh, I mean, I was alpha here and uh, he was just a little homeless guy in the woods. As I was done taking out his teammates one by one, I found this little bastard hiding in the tent. And he tried to give me a map, he tried to bribe me, and I said, I mean, yeah, thank you, bro. Thank you for the map, but, you know, I was not going to let that slide. His friends tried to kill me, so I had to do the, what would Jesus do? And I killed him. And, uh, you know, I looked in the map and went to go find the treasure. Turns out it was a bunch of jewelry. Uh, you'd think they would have hidden some gold in there, but turns out they just stole from a woman and decided to call it treasure. So I heard all about these stories about horse parkour, and I tried to do it with my horse, but my horse just fell asleep, and he couldn't even make the jump. So I decided to leave. I went to go steal a horse for some fellers that um, told me they needed a horse. And it turns out, man, they were really great, man. They gave me a horse for free. And I countered these guys. They started sucking trash. You know, I killed them just like any normal human would. I tied them up and then I tortured them a little bit. I went to go meet up with Horley and, and then a crackhead came behind me. I was like, hey, Horley, watch out, bro. There's a crackhead right there. It turns out he was just a, another homeless dude that lived with them. And he was telling me that um, I should be good, you know. But I mean, what does he know? All, all he does is lay around and do nothing. So I went to go help this feller out because they stole something. China place from him. Uh, uh man, what, what are you gonna do, bro? Just go buy some at the antique store, bro. So I decided to go kill some fellas for him. You know, what I mean, cause I'm a I'm a bounty hunter. That's what I do. And so I went to go capture the leaders and throw them on the train tracks. And you know, I mean, I did also did what what would Jesus do? You know, I sent them to heaven. I started to go into roads, and then, I mean, these guys were playing really tough hide and seek. She found him and she killed him. I mean, like, man, damn, bro, that's the end. And she's like, yeah, yeah. I mean, you want to try it? After I was done playing hide and seek with them, I met up with some player, and I mean, they waved hi to me. I waved back, and man, they started running away, just like everybody in my life. But you know, I had to go chase them down, try to save that one relationship. Then I went to go to a campfire. It turns out, I mean, these people were already there. I'm mean, like, hey, what's up, bro? You want to get up? I accidentally pointed my gun at him, and he got all butt hurt. I'm like, bro, chill out, bro. I was just seeing how how this worked. I had a bug in my mouth. I ended up spitting, and she slapped me. Uh, I don't know why, so I knocked her out. Stupid. You know, um, women's rights. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. That joke was insensitive. My bad. I'm all about for women's rights, you know. I support women. I then find these homeless people, and then I uh, decide to challenge them to a bro down. I decided to head off a road. You know, I found this police officer slacking, doing some kinky shit by himself in the fire. And, you know, I told him not to do that no more. He told me not to tell anybody, but, you know, I pay his taxes, so he can't tell me what to do. I decided to take another job, you know. I was delivering the wagon almost there, and I was truly at this bad guy, and I wasn't looking where I'm going. I ended up killing one of my employees, and I uh, started an all-out war, and they started shooting at me, so I decided to kill them all. I decided to clean up this mess, you know. I decided to give this guy a Viking funeral. Uh, his NPC started running away for no reason. And I asked this guard to help me out. Um, he just wanted to play soccer, bro. So I, I said, oh, you'll be the soccer ball, bro. <laughs> <laughs> So I decided to clean my horse because I noticed it was dirty and I saw this guy so I decided to give him a speed boost and he got mad so I ended up shooting him. I went into St. Denis, uh, this guy named Porky was getting yelled at by his boss for stealing some candy and the boss made him kneel down and do some like role play kinky shit bro I don't know what was going on I had to get out of there. After being a bad guy I decided to go help these cops out I mean I guess they let some dude out and they were getting yelled at bro and I think the dude in the back was crying I was like hey bro come down we'll get him for you bro don't worry about it. We ended up finding the guy. I mean, he was drunk off his ass. Uh, he ended up falling, bro. I don't know what happened, bro. He was alive, then all of a sudden he wasn't. So, I mean, we, we delivered him dead, but we still got paid. I went to go rob a train because there's nothing else better to do than rob a train on Thursday night. You know, with your brother, with your homies, you know, drinking beers, uh, watching women show their ankles, you know. As we were fighting, this guy thought he had the high ground. And, I mean, these bullets catch up to you faster than the crackhead catches up to you when he's on crack, bro. So, you can't really escape these bullets. 
as I started shooting that guy, he started running away faster than the dad runs away when he finds out he has a child and he goes to buy milk. I tried to buy this map off this guy and I started getting shot from the back from this guy. I think he found out I made that joke about women's rights and you know they were all about women's rights back in the day so of course he got mad. I had to tie him up because I couldn't let him kill me. I decided to go uh, teach him a lesson. As I was riding around, my horse ended up tripping and my horse ended up killing him. He threw him in the water. I couldn't really do anything about it. As I was running around, uh, I called my horse and he decided to start uh, throwing flames out of his ass. And I don't know why, I think I fed him the wrong thing last night. I think I fed him too much beans. Uh, but on the plus side, uh, I can go way faster now. I met this uh, Irish fellow and I asked him if he had any lucky charms. He's like, no mate. I don't got no Lucky Charms, and I was like, ah, oh, damn. On um, pursuit for Lucky Charms, I ended up getting this job to go capture a bounty in the police station. And man, I'm just glad the police aren't as corrupted today as they were back then, bro. Because, I mean, what are they doing hiding this Lucky Charms uh, thief? As I was riding back to deliver her, I accidentally rode in the water for too long, and she ended up drowning. I went to go buy a Lancaster repeater and a new revolver. I mean, your boy gotta look fresh in the Wild West, bro, to get them ladies. So I, I decided to go change my horse too, and then they were getting stuck, and uh, some hackers tried to get me out, but it didn't really work. As I was in Blackwater, uh, I went to go see what was going on, because the fire was going off, man. I thought that was pretty cool. I then met this lady called Madame Nazar, and she tried to make me buy a few things, a few trinkets, man, but I was broke. I spent my money on a bunch of stuff that I had to get, and she tried to tell me that uh, I was looking for a dead lover. Man, I never had a lover. What are you talking about, bro? Then I met another crazy lady. She drugged me. I don't know what's wrong with these women, man. It's like they're mad about being oppressed or something. I had to get this legendary bounty. Turns out it was just a homeless guy. I don't know what all the fuss was about. Um, he ended up drugging me. I had to fight some weird animals. I had to capture him. And then why, as I was uh, turning him in, he's like, oh, we don't we don't pay if we don't have receipts or the goods or whatever. Man, I'm like, what? I can just bring a dead body next time. Uh, make him look homeless and just give me money. All right. I went to the clothing store to get a new fresh fit. I had to get color black, you know, with gray or white, whatever you want to call it. And I decided to get a new horse. It was a red one. It was better than my old one. And before I left the server, I wanted to go hunt down one thing. Smokey the Bear. And my horse was too scared to keep going, so I had to go on foot. And let's just say things didn't end really well for Smokey the Bear. 